Too much inventory, yet always short of the parts you need? Let's fix that with one tool, MRP. In today's video, we'll break down how MRP works, its core logic, and even solve a numerical example step-by-step. -step. Let's start. 1. Introduction to Material Requirement Planning, MRP. Material Requirement Planning, MRP, is one of the foundational tools in operations management and production planning. It ensures that materials and components are available for production, that finished goods are available for delivery to customers, and that inventory levels are kept as low as possible. In essence, MRP answers three key questions. What is needed? The materials and components required. How much is needed? The quantity of each item. When is it needed? The timing of material availability. MRP focuses on synchronizing production schedules with demand forecasts and bill of materials, BOM, structures to avoid stockouts, overproduction, and delays. 2. Objectives of MRP The primary goals of MRP are to ensure availability of materials for production and delivery, to maintain optimal inventory levels, reducing carrying costs, to plan manufacturing activities, delivery schedules, and purchasing efficiently, to improve customer service by reducing lead times and missed deliveries. 3. Inputs to MRP To operate effectively, an MRP system requires three key inputs. Master Production Schedule, MPS. It specifies what end products need to be produced, in what quantities, and by when. Bill of Materials, BOM. A hierarchical list showing all raw materials, components, and subassemblies required to manufacture one unit of a finished product. Inventory Records. Information about the current stock of raw materials, components, and finished goods, as well as open purchase orders and lead times. 4. MRP Process Overview. The MRP system operates through the following steps. Determine gross requirements based on the production schedule. Subtract available inventory and scheduled receipts to find net requirements. Calculate planned order releases, considering lead times to ensure timely arrival. The result is a time phase plan for ordering materials and components to meet the production schedule efficiently. 5. Numerical example. Step-by-step -step MRP calculation. Let's consider a simple example to demonstrate how MRP works. Given data, we are producing product X, which requires the following components. Product. Components required. Quantity. Lead time. X finished. Require component A. 2 per X. With lead time 1 week. A. Require component B. 3 per A. With lead time 1 week. A. Require component C. 1 per A. With lead time 2 weeks. Demand for X. 100 units in week 6 inventory on hand beginning of week 1. A equals 20 units. B equals 100 units. C equals 50 units. No scheduled receipts. Step 1. Determine gross requirements for X. Gross requirement equals 100 units, week 6. Since lead time equals 1 week, we must start production in week 5. Step 2. Determine requirements for A. Each X requires 2 units of a 100 times 2 is equal to 200 A. Lead time for A equals 1 week, A must be ready by week 5 to produce X. Net requirement for A equals gross requirement, on-hand inventory equals 200, 20 is equal to 180 units. Thus, A must be ordered in week 4 to be available by week 5. Step 3. Determine requirements for B and C. Each A requires. 3 units of B, 200 times 3, is equal to 600 B. 1 unit of C, 200 times 1, is equal to 200 C. Lead time for B equals 1 week order in week 3 lead time for C equals 2 weeks order in week 2. Subtract available inventory. Net requirement for B equals 600. 100 is equal to 500 order in week 3. Net requirement for C equals 200. 50 is equal to 150 each order in week 2. Step 4. MRP Schedule Summary. So this is the MRP Schedule Summary, which has the item, its requirement, then net requirement offset from inventory when the order should be raised to get on time, along with lead time. Step 5. Interpretation. The MRP Schedule ensures that Orders for raw materials B and C are placed in time. Subassemblies A are produced before final assembly. Finished goods X are completed by week 6 without delay. 6. Benefits of MRP Reduced inventory levels through precise planning. Improved production efficiency and scheduling accuracy. Enhanced on-time delivery performance. Better coordination between purchasing, production, and sales. Reduced stockouts and rush orders. 7. Limitations and challenges while MRP is highly effective, it comes with limitations. Dependent on data accuracy, incorrect BOM or inventory data can cause major disruptions. Requires stable demand forecasts, frequent changes can lead to nervousness in the system. Complexity in large systems, managing multiple levels and interdependencies can be challenging. Does not consider capacity constraints, 
MRP focuses on material planning, not machine or labor capacity. This is addressed by MRP2. 8. Conclusion Material Requirement Planning, MRP, remains a cornerstone of operations management, ensuring that materials flow seamlessly through production. By understanding its logic, applying structure calculations, and maintaining accurate data, organizations can dramatically improve efficiency, reduce costs, and meet customer demand with precision. In today's Industry 4.0 environment, where automation and AI-driven planning tools are advancing rapidly, mastering MRP principles still provides a strong foundation for supply chain professionals and production planners. That's it for today. If you found this explanation useful, hit that like button, comment below if you want me to cover MRP2 or ERP planning next, and don't forget to subscribe for more supply chain learning videos every week. Because here we make complex supply chain concepts simple and practical. See you in the next video, where we bring the supply chain to life.